All right, in this scene, we're going to talk about pneumonia, and it's going to be represented by these gnomes over here, gnomes for pneumonia. All right, let's explain what's going on in the scene, and we'll explain what pneumonia is. So in this scene, these gnomes are being attacked by these microbes, these purple microbe guys over here, and these microbes on top, and we'll explain what everything represents. All right, let's start. So pneumonia is an infection in the lungs caused by microbes, and hence the microbes. And this inflammation brings water into the lung tissue, and that makes it harder to breathe. Okay, so let's talk about what happens. So let's look at these microbes over here. So we see that one of them is standing on a bed, and he has a shortness of breath. <laughs> this helps us remember that the microbes and the inflammation lead, makes it harder to breathe, and that's because of the fluid buildup in the lungs. We see that he's standing on a bed to remind us of, that there's fatigue often that follows pneumonia as one of his systemic symptoms. Next to him over here, we note this chest that's in pain. The chest is in pain to help us remember the chest pain that often is involved. On top of him, there's this microbe over here with a thermometer to help us remember the fever that often ensues. And this guy is coughing up some sputum over here to help us remember there's often a productive cough, <coughs> either with or without blood. Okay, now let's talk about each one of these gnomes over here. And then we'll talk about these guys on top of them who's trying to land on, them, on their heads. Okay, so there are four different types of pneumonia that we're going to discuss. Here, there are the lobes of the lung to help us remember the lobar pneumonia. Next to him, there's this broccoli for bronchopneumonia. Next to him, there's this atypical gnome over here for atypical pneumonia. And finally, this guy over here, who is the creepy gnome for cryptogenic organizing pneumonia. So let's talk about each one of these pneumonia. So let's start with lobar pneumonia. And as we discuss this, we'll talk about the microbes on top of them. And these microbes on top that are trying to come down are going to help us remember the microbes associated with each one of these specific pneumonia. So lobar pneumonia. Lobar pneumonia is an infection in which the lobe is filled with fluid. And if you look at the x-ray over here, you'll note that their fluid fills an entire lobe or even the whole lung. In this picture, it's probably filling up a whole entire lobe over here. But anyway, this type of pneumonia is caused by strep pneumonia, Legionella, and Klebsiella. How are you going to remember that? Well, let's look on top of him. Who's trying to, who are these gnomes up here? Well, it's an interesting, it's a pretend, it's a microbe gnome over here coming down to attack him. The gnome for strep pneumonia. On top of him, there's a club for Klebsiella. And, and he's standing on top of a Legion helicopter for Legionella. All right, so strep pneumonia is caused by Klebsiella, Legionella, and strep pneumonia. Next to him over here, there's the bronchopneumonia guy, bronchopneumonia. The bronchopneumonia is when the infection travels throughout the lungs and the alveoli. The x-ray shows a patchy distribution involving at least one lobe, and that's what we see over here. And there are acute inflammatory infiltrates from bronchioles into al adjacent alveoli. What's this type of pneumonia caused by? Well, it's caused by strep pneumonia, staph aureus, haemophilus influenza, and klebsiella. How do you remember that? So over here we see the microbes coming down onto the broccoli. Here again we see the gnome guy, the gnome microbe for strep pneumonia. On his head we see a club for klebsiella. On his, on the top of that, there's balanced a staph for staph aureus. And on top of that there's this flute for fluenza, haemophilus influenza. Bronchopneumonia is caused by strep pneumonia, staph aureus, haemophilus influenza, and klebsiella. Okay, now let's talk about interstitial atypical pneumonia, represented by the atypical gnome. So this type of pneumonia is when the infection goes just outside the alveoli into the interstitium. And x-ray is going to show a bilateral multifocal opacities, which generally stay around midline. That's what we see over here. What is this type of pneumonia caused by? Well, let's take a look on top of him. So on top, we note the virus. Various types of viruses can cause atypical pneumonia, such as RSV, CMV, influenza, and adenovirus. The virus that's on top of this clam, to help us remember chlamydophilas, chlamydophila pneumonia, and chlamydophila sitaki. And on the clam, there's a picture of Michael, Michael Jordan from Mycoplasma. And under that, again, we have Legion Helicopter again for Legionella. This type of pneumonia is also known as walking pneumonia, because it follows a more indolent course, and thus we have this guy walking on his head. Okay, finally, cryptogenic organizing pneumonia. So the etiology of this one is unknown, and hence the question mark on his head. But secondary organizing pneumonia is caused by chronic inflammatory diseases, such as rheumatoid arthritis or medication side effects. It often responds to steroids, but not to antibiotics, because it cannot be traced to any specific bacteria. This is formerly known as BOOP, bronchiolitis obliterans organizing pneumonia, but it's characterized by inflammation of the bronchioles and the surrounding tissue, and hence the fire. And just a word on treatment, so this often involves basically antibiotics to treat the bacteria if that's the cause of the infection. But cough suppressants and pain medications are often given to help with the symptoms. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this incredibly weird scene on pneumonia. Take care.